the format of being robot. Once upon a time, in the eerie depths of forgotten animation history, there existed a lost cartoon from 1991, whispered only in hushed tones among those who dared to delve into the realm of the macabre. Its name was, Greg Human's Play School, a seemingly innocuous children's show that hid a sinister secret within its colorful facade. The tale began with an obscure animator named Greg Human, a man whose eccentricity and obsession with darkness were well known among his peers. The studio executives, captivated by Greg's unique artistic vision, greenlit his ambitious project, Greg Human's Play School, without knowing the twisted depths it would eventually descend into. The premise of the show seemed innocent enough at first glance. The audience would follow a group of children, each with their own quirks and personalities, as they embarked on imaginative adventures within the whimsical walls of play school. The vibrant setting was designed to resemble a cheerful, bustling daycare center, with vibrant colors, playful music, and charming characters. Yet, as the episodes progressed, a sense of unease started to settle over the viewers. The innocence of the children's adventures slowly morphed into bizarre and unsettling scenarios. The light-hearted laughter that once echoed through play school, transformed into a disconcerting chorus of distorted giggles and discordant melodies. Rumors began to circulate that Greg Human had inserted subliminal messages and hidden symbols throughout the animation. Some claimed to have glimpsed twisted faces lurking in the background, their eyes filled with malevolence. Others spoke of eerie whispers that could be heard if one listened intently enough, conveying cryptic messages of foreboding. Parents who allowed their children to watch Greg Eubin's play school, began to notice changes in their behavior. Nightmares plagued their sleep, as their once cheerful and carefree personalities turned morose and withdrawn. Some whispered that the show had a hypnotic effect, gradually ensnaring the minds of the young and impressionable. As the disturbing rumors spread, concerned parents reached out to the studio demanding answers. Yet, they were met with silence. The production company denied any knowledge of hidden messages or intentions to harm children. The executives claimed that the show's sinister undertones were merely the product of overactive imaginations. But the damage had been done. The broadcast of Greg Eubin's play school was abruptly halted, leaving only a small number of episodes to serve as a chilling testament to its existence. The reels were locked away, gathering dust in a forgotten corner of the studio archives, a haunting reminder of a show that should have never been made. Decades later, a brave individual stumbled upon an old VHS tape at a yard sale, its faded label bearing the words, Greg Eubin's play school. Curiosity gnawed at their mind, tempting them to unlock the secrets hidden within the lost cartoon. Against their better judgment, they decided to view the tape. What they witnessed within those warped frames was beyond comprehension. The animation twisted and contorted, revealing grotesque images and nightmarish scenes that defied logic. The whispers that echoed through the speakers were filled with ancient arcane knowledge, hinting at dark rituals and forgotten realms. Haunted by what they had seen, the viewer tried to warn others about the malevolence lurking within Greg Eubin's play school. But their words were met with disbelief, dismissed as mere urban legends in the annals of internet lore. To this day, the lost cartoon remains a testament to the insidious power of forgotten media. It serves as a reminder that within the most innocent and unassuming of creations, darkness can thrive. So be cautious, for you never know what horrors lie hidden within the depths of a seemingly harmless cartoon, waiting to ensnare the unsuspecting minds of those who dare to venture too far into the realm of the unknown.